Let me show you the easy solution how you can remove this error of avoid an excessive dome size in Google PageSpeed inside. And just for information, you're not the only one. Even big website like Amazon, they also face the same issue. So I tested Amazon website from Google PageSpeed and you can see here they're also facing this issue of avoid an excessive dome size. But they're facing a warning here, not the error like this website. So when it's an error and very critical, it is in red color and like Amazon website, when it is not very critical but still need improvement, it will be shown in orange color. So before I tell you how to solve this thing with these easy solutions, let me explain quickly what is dome size and why you see these issues. As you can see this website of Amazon and you have different elements on this website. There's a logo, some links, the search box and yes, so many other links. There's a menu here and there are different sections here. There's images, text, every element. For example, this text link, this search box, they consider as one node. If we go very technical, it's going to be complete for you to understand. But let's for now think that every element on the page is considered as a node. And overall, some of these nodes, they're called dome, which is document object model. Normally, it is in HTML elements, every element called a node. But let's say all the elements you can see visually on the website are called nodes. So on Amazon website, you can see here they have 1,150 elements. So all these elements on this page, they are 1,150. So as per Google inside, when it is around 800, you will get a warning that your dome is excessive in size. And when it is more than or around 1400 nodes, you'll get the error that it is too much. So in case of Amazon, you can see it's 1150. So it's a warning here. And on this website shown you, it is 4000, which is way much than 1400. That's why I'm seeing this error here. So you can see this is my website. I'm scoring 97 for mobile devices. And for desktop also, I'm scoring 100 out of 100. And if I scroll the page, and I click on past audits, you can see I have only 681 elements. So this is very subjective depending on website also. So I recommend try to reduce the room size, don't have error. Maybe if it's really important for you to have multiple elements, you can be somewhere where you get the warning, but not an error. Because that will make your website really slow. The more complicated, the big dome size you will have, your website will be really slow. It will bring a lot of load on users computer to execute all the JavaScript and CSS style rules. Okay, so I hope you understand what is dome size and why you see this error. So let me show you this easy tricks how you can reduce the dome size of your website and get the perfect Google page speed score. So before I move to the first solution, I will really appreciate if you like the video, subscribe to the channel because I create this unique amazing content without wasting any of your time. So if you like the channel, I would really appreciate that and make me think that you guys are liking my videos and it will help this good content to reach so many more people. Okay, so fix one. Use a lightweight page editor like Gutenberg which makes dome size not as heavy as other page builder. So what happens when you use Gutenberg page builder? It is very much optimized. It do not add so many elements on dome size. It is very simple. It is made to be lightweight. If you use Elementor page builder, it is more heavy. However, in the end, I will tell you if you're using Elementor, just using one button, how you can reduce the dome size significantly. So wait for that point. So first thing, not use a heavy page builder, use a page builder like Gutenberg. Okay, second example is how you create elements on your website. So you can see here, I have this row and you have these boxes here and then I have another row which is which got the same boxes so what we can see here for example if we consider just this one row and we calculate the dome we are not going to the coding because it's going very complicated we are doing only visually but if you do visually that will really help you to reduce dome size so you can see here this first row here so this is like one node and then you can see there is one column here inside there is one icon box inside the icon box there is one image one title and one text so in just in this box, we have the whole complete box, one, two, three, four nodes and this column five. Okay. So we have three boxes. So 15 nodes and plus one row, which is 16 nodes. I get the same design here, but let's calculate the nodes here. So this is one icon box, one, then two image, three, four. And we have like three boxes. So 12 and we have 13 column and then 14 row so here we create the same design using 14 nodes and here we create the same design using 16 nodes now you say just difference of two nodes but in real when you look the html of these two rows they will have very significant difference because it is just visual node counting but when you calculate the elements in the html they will have huge difference so i says to do make your elements something like this so you have less nodes for example is the same purpose instead of making three columns here Use one column, you can add your icon box or any box and go to advance and then from here you can choose the width. So width is 28. If I keep the width 100, it will take the full page but no, 
what I will do because I want to stack three elements in one row. So I kept the width to 228%. I did the same with all these three items. So yes, I reduced my dome size like this. And you can see here another element here. The same thing is happening here, the row and then you have different three columns here. This section can be also done like how you create this section. So this is very easy tricks. If you use this, you will see really big effect on website dome size. Visually it looks similar, but your dome size will reduce significantly. Let me give you third tip. If you're using e-commerce website or you're using sliders on your website, then do not use a lot of slider elements. For example, if your website got hundreds of slider elements, your website size will be huge. So what you can do when you add a slider is add minimum slides as possible in one page. Do not use hundreds of slides in one slider. Just four, five, six, seven, they're enough. So try to keep them minimum. And this is a really good nice tip for e-commerce websites or if you are using sliders on your website. Okay, so next tip will be the people who use mega menu or use huge menus on the website. For example, you can see this is a very simple page and when I hold menu, you can see there's so many nodes on this page. And this is just one menu item. The second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. This is a demo website, but yes, I saw in some website people use mega menus and they have this, some items like this. So this menu is only contributing to having more than excessive dome size on your whole page. So do not use a lot of menu which you are not required. So be mindful of using the menu items. Okay, so next tip is really simple. Do not use a lot of elements on your website. It's very basic. The less element used on your website, the dome size will be less. So do not add the elements which you do not need on your web page. For example, if you have a website which is a one page website, please make your website multi pages. Do not show everything on one page with one page website. You will have problem with the huge dome size. So next tip to reduce excessive dome size will be do not use so much complete JavaScript and CSS rules on your website. Try to use as less plugins as possible. Okay, plugins which are contributing in the backend of the website or cache, they're fine. But do not try to style elements on your website a lot using, using CSS files or using JavaScript. For example, you can see this animation, this CSS animation. And sometimes you have some JavaScript animation also on the website. So for these kind of things, do not use these things, make things simpler. The more simple your website will be the less will be dome size and your website will load really, really fast. Okay, so now the final tip for people who are using Elementor Page Builder, you do not need to change a lot of things on your website. What you can do, you can go to settings and then click on features and then you scroll the page and then you can choose this option, optimize dome output. So what you can do from default, you can click on active. Yes, if it's not breaking, in a lot of cases it works very fine. I tested on so many websites. So I hope you are able to reduce your dome size. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that if you get some value out of this video. And if you want to know how you can get perfect Google Page Speed score, check out this playlist on your screen. And if you want to create a complete WordPress website, check out this other video on screen.